everyone! Welcome back to Royalty Soaps and the Fernwood Fall Collection of 2021. Now today, I am making a soap that has been requested so many times over the years, a candy corn inspired soap. Now, I will tell you, the fragrance for this is like an orange creamsicle fragrance because candy corn fragrances discolor soap. They all have vanillin in them. They all turn over time. If you didn't know, and you're a soap maker, even when you use a vanilla color stabilizer, the stabilizer only works for a certain amount of time. Eventually it will still turn brown. Didn't want that to be an issue for you guys. Know that you guys like the bright colors. We did an orange creamsicle scent. Also, arguably candy corn has a very weird fragrance anyway, but it's still very autumnal. It's still like quintessential American fall holiday. So we're doing one. We have a lot of really cool glitters from the good glitter that are going to be included. They have a lot of exclusive blends. You can use my code ROYALTY for 15% off your order. I am an affiliate. They have really, really cool Christmas blends coming up too. The fall blends are very spooky and fun. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and without further ado, let's make some soap. Okay guys, so full disclaimer, I'm super tired, but I really, really have to film this video. <laughs> I want to film it like I'm happy on the outside and in my heart. It's just not in my stomach. <laughs> so forgive me if I talk a little slower or I'm not at 100% in this video. Okay, so I'm gonna pour in my lye water solution. The recipe I'm using today can be found in the description box below. It's free. Feel free to make soap with it. Feel free to give that soap to your friends or sell it. It's all free today. And now I'm gonna blend this up on high until just past emulsion. Okay, and now I'm gonna split this batter into three equal parts because candy corn has three different colors. Now there are plenty of candy corn fragrances on the market. It's a very recognizable candy. I really don't like the taste of it. And I seem to be in good company with that opinion. I've seen a lot of people say that they think candy corn tastes like chalk. <laughs> And because of that, I don't really want this soap to smell like candy corn. I want it to have the same look, the same aesthetic, without having that artificial sweet smell to it. Also, all the candy corn fragrance oils have vanillin in it, so it will turn the soap brown. It, I'm sure, would be really good for candles because it won't do that. But as far as soap goes, I won't be using that probably ever just because it's not really effective. <laughs> So, so let's talk about colors. This yellow is true yellow with tennis ball breaker. Then we have some orange vibrance mica mixed with flotation device. And then finally we have titanium dioxide. So I have made for this soap a custom blend of fragrance oil. I will share it with you in case you would like to use it. It is 50% fresh squeezed orange from nature's garden and 50% almond from nature's garden. And if you're thinking to yourself, now Catherine, that that sounds like a creamsicle, you would be right. It does sound like a creamsicle, doesn't it? And that is exactly what I want it to smell like. I'm just gonna blend this up real quick. And now we can go ahead and pour this into our two brambleberry molds. All right, let's get that first pour in here. It is really, really vibrant, thank goodness. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and pour this second layer in here very slowly. I'm gonna try to make it very, very even and very, very straight. And now we just have one more layer to go. All right, final layer. Hi, welcome to voiceover, Katie. <laughs> I almost never do voiceovers because I love talking to y'all, but there was a handyman working the day that I was filming this and like the social anxiety hit me so hard. He had a grinder on in the other room so that he could cut some things in the holiday house kitchen. And he was so nice and was always saying like, is now a good time? I'm sorry, I don't wanna interfere with your filming. And I was like, 
lying through my teeth. I just lied straight through my teeth and was like, oh no, you're fine. I, I'm not talking anymore. No, I, I don't have any, there's no more talking in this scene. You're good. And literally I was right in the middle of frosting. It's just one of those things. <laughs> I'm using the Atiko 869 tip for the frosting and then I mixed up a little bit of the pumpkin head mica and true yellow mica to do a drizzle on top, get some more of those candy corn colors on there. And then I put an orange signature soap gumball in bed and I also put on a custom mix of good glitter glitters. I had three different ones in there, a yellow and like an autumn pumpkin color. I will leave all of the individual links down below. It ended up being absolutely perfect. It matched really well. And uh, yeah, I just <laughs> got to do it by myself. I ended up just listening to some ASMR because <laughs> Again, I was so nervous. <laughs> okay, guys, let us unmold some candy corn soap. It's been a while since I pulled them out of the uh, silicone liners for you guys, and y'all are always like, it's so satisfying. Ugh, that fragrance is so strong. Oh, yeah. Super clean, unmolding. This is what it looks like on the side. Ugh. Yes! Righto! So I believe I'm gonna have to turn this on the side because that's some really tall soap right there. <laughs> I'm gonna try to line it up perfectly. Looks like I actually placed them well for once. I'm sure it's because I wasn't talking and my uh, social anxiety was at peak. <laughs> All right, this is what it looks like on the inside! Eee! I love it so much. And I can tell you this smell is one of my better custom blends. Like it's so good. The glitters from the good glitter match absolutely perfectly. The mica looks great. The signature soap gumball in bed looks fantastic. I literally have no complaints. The smell is on the medium to strong side um, when I am cutting it here. Of course, after the cure, it always gets a little bit lighter. There are not a lot of fragrances that get stronger after cure. However, a fragrance oil getting stronger after the cure is more common, in my opinion, with essential oils. I do have some essential oil soaps I have made in the past that were slightly weak when I was blending them up, but after they sat, they were so much stronger. Okay guys, let's get an honest opinion, a very honest question of the day. Do you like to eat candy corn? Not look at it in a bowl, not purchase it for decor in your home. Do you like to eat it? I wanna know, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you like the candy corn soap. Of course, it will be available with our November collection. It's the first Saturday of November. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more short form content. Um, I have a lot of fun stuff going up over there per usual. The autumn collection is always one of like the most fan favorite collections. I don't know what it is. I don't know why people just love to have fall themed soaps, but it's like one of the best seasons for soap selling. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that's making a candy corn craft with some little people in your life, or, or maybe just making it because you wanna make it, or making a candy corn dessert and you know, making the turkey with the candy corn. Do y'all remember that? Hey, early 90s and early 2000s kids, y'all remember that? You do the little turkey and then you make the candy corn as little feathers in the back. Such a cute craft, I digress. I don't really care what you do. Be sure you do something fun for yourself. That is, of course, the main point. You deserve it. You deserve to take a little moment for yourself every single day, regardless of what that is, to help refocus, to help kind of clear your mind. Do some breathing. Breathing is very good. Take shorter breaths if you want to get hyped and excited. Take longer breaths if you want to get calmed down. I've been using this a lot recently. Okay, I've talked too much. Have an absolutely royal day. I'll see you guys next Tuesday for some more soapy fun. Uh, and until then, catch you on Instagram and stuff. Okay, have a royal day. Bye for now. Meow, 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 meow.